Hello, Laverne Aaron, thank you for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. My question is to you, and you can consider this a rhetorical question. I don't know, maybe uh, uh, you'll be able to answer it in the comments. But uh, it has to do with the Holy Spirit and whether or not you are being led by the Holy Spirit. And if so, how do you know? How do you know that you are being led by the Holy Spirit and that others are not? For I believe there are three voices we hear. It's our own voice, that of Satan, or that of God. How do you know which you are hearing? How do you know that the, the core belief system that you have is the truth and is not being infected by the lies of Satan? The doctrine that you follow. Whatever it is, how do you know? There are somewhere between 23,000 and 30,000 different denominations, all claiming to be led by the Holy Spirit. All claiming that theirs is the right one. And that everybody else is wrong. That other people are not being led by the Holy Spirit, but being led by Satan. Now when we consider that truth is not subjective, that it's objective, that there is only one truth, and there is one narrow path that leads to God. How do you know that you are hearing the Holy Spirit? Because it's so important that your salvation is dependent upon it. So that's my question, is just for you, for the time being, to be thinking about that. I know a lot of people are saying, well, I, I just know, or I check it through scripture, and so on. But everybody says the same thing. I've been uh, reading quite a few comments from people and videos being made, accusing others of being led by the father of all lies, being led by Satan, and that they're heretics, and so on and so forth. And this, you know, this is going back and forth. Everybody is saying this. So how do we know? How do we know whose eyes are covered with uh, uh, scales? Sorry, mine went blank. How do we know whose eyes are covered with scales and whose are not? Everybody wants to believe that they are hearing the truth. Just as if you ask somebody, you ask them, are they above average, below average, or average in intelligence? Everybody wants to believe they are, they are above average. But when it comes to, to the Holy Spirit, you ask people, where do they think in the percentile of people who actually have an indwelling of the Holy Spirit and are being led by Him? 98% of people want to believe they are in the two percentile of people being led by the Holy Spirit. And yet that's not the case. We know that. We also know that Satan comes as a light bringer. Satan is known as the morning star. And when he comes into the church, he does not come in to um, condemn people. Satan also comes as a comforter. He wants people to be comfortable in their sin. He wants people to be convinced that they can sin and not die. Satan comes as a light to convince people that they are saved. This is what it means by being this light bringer, the morning star of being a counterfeiter, of coming into the church. He doesn't come in to condemn people. Satan, his whole reason for coming into the church is to make people comfortable with their sins and to convince them they can sin and not die. This is what it means to be the counterfeiter. And he's done an excellent job at doing this. Now my next point is, if you receive a new revelation, a new understanding, are you able to accept it, even though it goes contrary to the model that you've built? For we all have a model that we built, that we live by. It has our core belief systems, and we, we live within this model. But if something new comes along, a new understanding, a new truth, new revelation, are you able to accept it and, and realize that the model that you had is false? Because we can do one of three things when we receive this new truth. We can reject it outright and just hang tightly on to our uh, model that is so full of lies. Or we can take that new truth and we can twist it and bend it so that we somehow incorporate it into our model. Thereby keeping our model and supposedly the truth as well. But that's not the case. We've made that truth now a lie. We've twisted it to such a degree. The third thing is that we can recognize that the truth is more important in keeping 
than the new than the old model that we have. So my question is, are you willing to, if you receive a new truth, a new understanding, can you let go of that new model? Can you say my my old model was incorrect, was corrupt, and now I'm going to build a new model based on this new truth? Can you do that? Would you be able to do that? Because the only one who can is the one who is led by the Holy Spirit. The one who is led by the Holy Spirit will recognize the truth as being truth and will recognize that their model was corrupt and needed to be changed, needs to be changed. And the Holy Spirit would show the person how to create a new model with that new truth. Are you such a person? Are you that kind of person being led by the Holy Spirit? Or are you the person being led by Satan or by your own pride that you so much want to hang on to your own model that you reject anything that goes contrary to it and in doing so and hanging on to these lies you face the very real possibility of finding yourself at the gates to hell instead of the kingdom because when Satan comes as this light bringer as the morning star He's coming as a comforter. He wants you to believe that you are saved. This is what Satan does. This is his ultimate goal. To convince people they are saved when in fact they are not. And the only way to know and to recognize the truth is with the Holy Spirit. But the only way to know if we are hearing the Holy Spirit is with Scripture. We are given these two things. Holy Scripture and the Holy Spirit. But they must jive together. They must they must work together. We recognize the one is truth with the other. We recognize what is truth in the Holy Scripture by the Holy Spirit. And we recognize any new revelations and understanding that we are given with the Holy Spirit. But we back that up with Scripture. But the only way is if we have all of God's Word. We are told we must live by all of God's Word, not part of it. It is Satan's design and his plan to keep people limited to only part of God's word because then it makes it easy to confuse people we know Satan knows scripture he knows it all too well and when he can limit somebody to only having part of scripture he can really confuse them and he is able to come and be seen as the light when in fact he's not the only way that we can truly understand the Holy Spirit and God's plan for us and to get on that narrow path is if we have all of God's Word. And as I've been saying in videos lately, that includes the writings of Enoch. But I've been receiving emails from people telling me I'm a heretic, telling me I am following Satan and so on, that I'm not led by the Holy Spirit. And the reason is, is because I believe the writings of Enoch are Holy Scripture. But I tell you, it is these people who are, are being blinded. And if you were to take a, a serious look at the videos I've made about Enoch, you would see this. So I'm just, I didn't make this specifically for people who are sending me these emails. It is in general about the Holy Spirit. Are you being led? How do you know? and a warning against those people who are being led by Satan and what it is Satan's trying to do. Uh, I'm sure my time is up, so uh, I look forward to comments. Till next time, peace and blessings.